And so far, so far, we don't really have a political party standing with us. And that's what we want. We want a political party to stand for children, to stand for parents. And we're waiting for them. And too bad, honestly, many of us supported Prime Minister Trudeau. Many of us supported him. Many immigrant communities supported Trudeau. And now what's he saying? He's saying that Muslims are being brainwashed. We're not brainwashed. We are professional people. Up here, there's doctors and lawyers and engineers and people that work here from home and homemakers. We're professional people. We're not brainwashed. What's going on guys? Hey, I wanted to come back to you and I wanted to bring you a video on uh, Justin Trudeau in Canada. And he's saying the reason why Muslims in the country are protesting this LGBTQ plus push uh, in the school curriculum is because they're, they're indoctrinated by right wing extremism. I mean, really think about how Number one, how insulting that is. That the only reason why you disagree with something is because you're being taken by some ideology of right-wing extremism or white supremacy or whatever. That is the reason why um, you disagree with something. I mean, really, think about how insulting that is, number one. And then think about, um, you know, again, Muslim as a whole, you know, I'm not saying all Muslims, but as a religion, they tend to teach that, um, you know, again, LGBTQ type stuff is wrong. So again, we're going to ignore what they teach. We're going to ignore everything about, again, what they've traditionally been opposed to. And we're going to say white supremacy or Right-wing extremism is, is a cause of them opposing LGBTQ type stuff in their schools. I mean, yeah. But anyways, guys, I want to bring you a couple of videos, man, talking about this. Just last week, Canada's Liberal Prime Minister Justin Trudeau addressed a group of Muslim Canadians who protested against gender ideology in schools. And he blamed their opposition on, quote, the American right wing. Watch. First of all, there is an awful lot of misinformation and disinformation out there. Uh, people on social media, particularly fueled by the American right wing, are uh, spreading a lot of untruths about what's actually in the provincial curriculum. If you look at the various curriculums, you'll see that there is not what is being said out there about aggressive teaching or conversion of kids to being LGBT. That is something that is being weaponized by people who are not doing it because of their interest in supporting the Muslim community. These are people on the far right who have consistently stood against Muslim rights in the Muslim community. Oh, Tommy, that was a lecture. How insulting not only to the Muslim faith, but to faith in general, anybody who has faith in something beyond themselves, anybody who holds a religion near and dear to their heart, for him to sit there and say, hey, listen, it's the American right wing that's trying to convince you of your, your firmly held belief that you've had in your religion <laughs> since the dawn of time, <laughs> that it's the American right wing that's making you think that. Once again, the left, I don't care if it's the American left or the Canadian left, mm -hmm. is trying to convince people how they feel and what they think, and that they are, in fact, victims, and they're not smart enough to think for themselves. They're actually being manipulated. I don't think that... Canadian Muslims or American Muslims or Canadian Christians, American Christians, whatever religion, I don't think that they're going to fall for this. I think people are too firmly rooted in their faith and in their beliefs to fall for this. Jen Psaki tried it a couple weeks ago. It fell flat. But when you think about it, how insulting it is to people of faith. Yeah. I hope people are paying attention to that. This is what they think of your faith. They think that your faith is being manipulated by conservatives in another country. Oh. That is insulting. That really is, man. Again, it has nothing to do with your morals, with your beliefs, man, with uh, something you were taught 
at birth. It has to do with the fact that white white wingers, man, right wing conservative folks in um, the U.S., man, again, they're brainwashing you to believe what they believe. I mean, really? So again, man, the only reason why people do things bad right now is because of right wing extremism or white supremacy or whatever. I mean, again, we, we have to really truly look at that. And the only ones that actually believe that that's even possible is these leftists, man, that are out there that believe, you know, yeah, the, you know what, the reason why, the reason why, man, the black cops killed Tyree Nichols, man, in Memphis, Tennessee, it's because they're racist. Though it's it's a white supremacy baked into the system. That's why. It's like, what are you talking about, man? No, it has nothing to do with the white supremacy. You know, again, I man, it's white supremacy is the reason why black people are they're out there in the street shooting each other. It's white supremacy. That's the reason why. And again, man, it's it's because leftists always like to blame everyone else for their issues. That is what the real problem is. Man, they got to blame somebody else because they can't take responsibility for themselves, for their own lives. They can't. So what they do is they blame everyone for everything. I mean, again, the reason why people out there shooting each other in the streets, you know, it's not because of... Um, you know, themselves, the hatred, the evil in their hearts. Nothing to do with that kind of stuff. Nothing to do with their upbringing. Nothing to do with the way they act. What they, what they worship. It has nothing to do with it. That With the fact that they listen to violent music. They play violent video games. I mean, it has nothing to do with their culture. Nothing. It has nothing to do with, um, you know, again, man, they've made some some woman in a thong twerk on a stage singing some kind of offensive lyrics. It has, it has nothing to do with the fact that they made her their God. Nothing to do with that one bit. What it actually is, it's white supremacy. So it's guns. That's the issue. It's guns, white supremacy baked into the system. That is what the problem is. And again, it has nothing to do with the fact that they've made violence and uh, sexuality and everything else their gods. Nothing to do with that. Because again, man, leftist type people, they have to blame everyone else for their issues instead of looking in the mirror and understanding they are responsible for themselves. You son of a You son of a